Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this rainbow eyeshadow cut crease look. So stay tuned to see how I do it. And if you like this video, please, 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 don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, put on some eyebrows because I have none. So, okay, so I just did my eyebrows off camera. I don't really wanna do it on camera, but I'm first thing to start off the eyeshadow look, I'm going to go in with my NYX white eyeshadow base, like right here. And basically what it's for is it just makes the um, eyeshadow, the color eyeshadow pop more. So yeah, that's how I started off. Okay, so after I applied the white eyeshadow base, I'm gonna go in with uh, Escape from the James X Morphe palette. I'm probably gonna put a picture of it in there too, but it's like this kind of shade right here. And I don't wanna put too much on there because I'm also gonna blend it with a pink, but I wanna create like kind of like a line. It's basically gonna be like my darker shade. For when I blend it up, I'm gonna use a lighter shade. Okay, so after I pack the um, darker purple shade into my crease, I'm going to go in with the light pink from the Bur Take Me Back to Brazil by BH um, palette. So yeah, I'm just going to- Just go in, just blend it into the darker. I'm just blending on the outer corner of the purple. And this is when I'm going to create my wing, is when I'm blending. All right, so now I'm going to clean off the excess and kind of blend it up now. All right, clean brush, blending up. Just making sure that the pink and the purple blends pretty well. Okay, so after I blend it up, you know, I'm going to go in with my light pink shade from the BH Cosmetic Palette, take me back to Brazil. I'm gonna put it above, right here. I'm just gonna pack it on too, because I want it to be like a, wow, like a vibrant pop color. Okay, I'm, so I'm gonna go back in with the little point brush with the color Escape again after I already blended everything out. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the hot pink shade again from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm just gonna go above it, the line that I just did to make the pink more um, there. Okay, now I'm gonna clean off my brush. Clean up. Okay, so I'm going to with my flat rounded uh, tip brush with the white eyeshadow base on top. And I'm just going to create a line. Look up. And you see that shape right there. We're gonna fill that in. Okay, so now that we made a shape, I'm going to clean it off. 
All right, guys. Okay, so now I cleaned it up. I'm going to go in with my white base again. Okay, so after I make my cut crease, I'm going to go in with the red shade from the James X Morphe palette. Um, you're kidding me. I'm just gonna pat it down in the corner. Okay, so after I pack on my red shade, I'm going to go in with the you're kidding me shade from the James X Morphe palette and just put it close. So the red shade. I'm not going to put it too far out because there's another orange that I want to go in with. This is just the orange to kind of blend it in from the transition. Okay, so now after I put in my red orange, I'm going to go in with the shade. 518 and just pack it closely to the... And when I'm blending, I kind of want to... Uh, Blend it next to the shade also. Pack it, blend, pack it, blend, you know? Okay, so after I do my orange shade, I'm gonna go in with the James Charles um, X Morphe palette, the yellow shade called B. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the light green shade from the James Charles palette called, oh, hold on, Social Blade. I'm going to apply Playground from the James X Morphe palette. It's a light blue color. Add it in to the inner corner. Okay, so I'm going to go in the, with the dark purple again. I'm the shade um, Escape and I'm just going to pack it onto the corner right here. I don't want to go too much into the blue. And I'm going to make wing with it because, you know, yeah. And I want it kind of to go up a little bit too. Yeah. Now cleaning off the brush, just going to blend and upwards. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my NYX Glitter Primer, which basically um, helps to keep my glitter to stay on the lids. And I'm going to go with on the line above the crease that I just made to give it a little razzle dazzle. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with In a thin line, I don't want to make it too thick. Before my glitter dries, I'm going to go in with my glow, my gold glitter, and just like pat it onto the white glitter. I don't have to worry about it sticking to the eyeshadow because it, my eyeshadow is pretty dry. And I'm just applying it carefully to. In sections, I'm applying it in sections. Okay, so now I'm going to get my NYX Primer Glitter Glue and I'm just going to apply some jewels to the corner of my eye so I'll show you all that process.
Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back in with my white base from NYX to make the color pop of the eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply it to the lower lash line, guys. Oh, that's just too small. Okay, I'm so I'm going to go in with Escape to first. And then just gonna put on there and blend it. Going in with brother. Going in with social blade. Going in with B. Oh, by the way, this is all from the James X Morphe palette. Going in with 518. Going in with your kidding. Now I'm gonna blend these. I forgot to um, record this, but I applied this highlighter from the crown case. This is actually my mom's, but she introduced it to me and it works so good. And it's very just like popping and vibrant. It's a loose powder, so it's not compacted. It's just like powder. Oh, I'll show you guys without spilling it. But it works so good, I love it. It's my favorite highlighter. All right, so I'm going to go and do my other eye and I'll be back with the skin tutorial. Okay, I just did my other eye, you know, out of the studs, glitter and stuff. Okay, now, so I'm going to apply a thin line of eyeliner to help it blend with my um, band of the eyelash. Okay, so for my lashes, I'm going to apply Duo Lash Glue and I'm going to do a thin strip layer and add it to my lashes and wait for it to get tacky. Okay, so I just put on my lashes. Next, I'm going to do my lips and I'll come back with the final look. Okay, so this is the final look of my rainbow eyeshadow cut crease. Um, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please, please, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button if you want to see more videos by me. And I'll see y'all next time.